Uh, it was to be expected, and I think we and many other scientists uh, around the world have said that once lockdowns uh, were, were ended, that there was always the risk that the disease could bounce back because if the virus is present, it will uh, potentially take all opportunities to transmit. Uh, our advice has been, I think, uh, quite consistent in advising countries, number one, to open up slowly in a stepwise uh, fashion and to accept the fact that in our current situation, uh, it is very unlikely that we can eradicate or eliminate this virus. There are very particular environments in which that can occur, island states and other places, but even they risk re-importation. And we've seen countries who've managed to get to zero or almost zero re-import virus from outside. So there's always a risk, either from within or from bringing disease back in. Uh, and therefore, it is a given that there is always a risk of further cases. So you really need a system where you can detect the small flames, the small embers that may be there. You can detect a small fire and put that out by good surveillance, by good detection, by aggressive testing, and then by isolating cases, quarantining cases. We all need to remain vigilant. We need to remain vigilant with our physical distancing, with our hygiene, with mask wearing in the appropriate settings. In that situation, we can potentially avoid the worst of having second peaks and having uh, um, to have to move backwards in terms of lockdown.